Morning everyone, how are you? It is Friday and we've all done our second week in lockdown in the UK. How was it? I don't personally think it was too bad. You know, I've kept myself busy, spent all of my time with my family and my little dog, Binky, and uh, managed to still create content at scale with my team who are also working from home and um, secured a job so it hasn't been too bad um, next week we've got to do it all again so what are you going to be doing next week to make it slightly different are you going to come up with a new idea are you going to start a new business? Let me know. If you've got any ideas for a new business, why don't you DM me? Why don't we do some brainstorming together? You know, if those who have known me or you've been following me on uh, YouTube, I know there's not many. We need some more. But I'm quite a good person to bounce ideas off of. You know, my trials and tribulations, my losses, my wins... You know, for over the last 35 years in business, my God, I've had some ups and I've had some downs and some few knocks sideways and battles and forwards. So I'm quite a good person to talk to about ideas. And I've got thousands of ideas myself. So if any of you out there looking for some new ideas or opportunities, DM me. You know, I try and speak to as many people as possible. So, for instance, on LinkedIn... I get asked all the time for conference calls and Zoom calls. I take them. I don't mind speaking to one new person a day. So, yeah, speaking to new people is always good. Um, meeting new people, great. But obviously, this time, we can't do face-to-face -face meetings. So, you know, Zoom video calls are amazing. Skype calls, WhatsApp video calls. Just get face-to-face -face with your clients or potential clients or reach out to people um, who you want to meet with you know don't reach down don't reach to the side always reach up to those people you never think you're going to get in front of and uh, set your bar very high so you know for instance if I want to start working with I don't know more celebrity clients I will reach out to them or at least reach up to them all the time creating content to attract that kind of person and then I may send them a little uh, a, a message on their feed to say hi then I do that maybe three or four or five times and then I may DM them and then all of a sudden I've done it so many times I've done it to well David Gandhi we did that. We didn't, I didn't know him. I just bumped into him in a, in a, in a pub, in a, not a pub, in a cafe somewhere. And off the back of that meeting, I DM'd him on Facebook and we set up a meeting. We ended up being um, a good friends for a few years and did his property. Also, uh, Lady Victoria Hervey, uh, I did that. Ended up doing some collaboration with her. Didn't really go anywhere, but, you know, I spent some time with her. I went to America, went to Hollywood. Uh, for a, uh, a week and also uh, uh, Callum Best that's how we do you know just reaching up reach up all the time I'm just keeping an eye on, on Binky over there Binky <whistles> because she's probably going to find a way into a garden Binks Binky <whistles> there she is yeah, just reach up all the time. Never reach down. Always reach up. Um, so, I don't know. Friday. It's hard to keep motivated all the time, isn't it? Very hard, you know. Especially when you're on your own and you don't have business partners. And you've got to motivate yourself all the time. Because if you don't motivate yourself... You're in serious trouble. You know, I listen to loads of audiobooks. So if I'm in my car 
drive into work and it's an hour there and an hour back, I will put on a bit of Grant Cardone, be obsessed or be average, 10x rules, sell or be sold, or a Daniel Priestley book. Um, what's his book called? Oversubscribed, key person of influence. Brilliant books. They really do resonate with me and they sink in. So I suggest people out there definitely download some of these audio books or get, buy the, the paper uh, book. Now, I'm not a big reader. I hate this school and reading for me is like torture. And I find, I guess I'm a little bit dyslexic because it goes, you know, it would take me so long to read one page and then I've forgotten about it. But audio books, I can play them time and time and time again and they sink in after a while. And then when I'm talking to people, all of a sudden, what I've been listening to just comes out in conversation. I think, Jesus Christ. I've never bloody even spoken about that before or even met, what, even spoke of that word before. Binky, come on. Binky. She's at the top now. So she's right at the very top walking around. Binky, can you come here? Yeah, so. There she. Binky. Come on. Again, come here, come here. If I don't watch her, she's off. Here she comes up. Crazy dog, crazy dog. Yeah, so it's just nice to step out of my back garden. So my back garden is literally there. My house is sort of down there. And uh, we've got all this field to ourselves. It's about two and a half, two and a half, three acres. So it's safe. Binky can't run off anywhere. There is deers around and badgers and all that this kind of stuff. And this time of year, I don't know, soon it'll be pheasants. So the pheasants are around. And then if she sees one of them, we're in serious problems. She'll be off. <clears throat> so we've got to be careful because the fences, some of these fences at the top, there's barbed wire. So we don't want her running through the barbed wire and cutting herself. So this is my little catch up for today. Boring, boring catch up. I guess most people will find it absolutely boring and I think I'm a complete dickhead, but there you go. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hit the like and share. So have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. See ya.